Good day all and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing a couple of tools that can help you split cards. Now following my review of the Siamese Waltz, there was a discussion about how difficult it was to make the gaff. Some people voiced their concerns about difficulty splitting cards. I did send out my own tutorial using hot water to split cards. And since then, I've gotten so many emails from you guys regarding questions and comments about that method that I thought I would share these tools with you. Now, these tools can be picked up directly from Owen O'Hare's site, The Perfect Shuffle, or you can also get them, I think, from Vanishing Ink. And I have several of his jigs that are used for different things. I may make further reviews of some of his other jigs in the near future. These two jigs, the corner splitter jig and the card splitter jig are used specifically for splitting cards. They are pricey, so this is probably not an option for everyone, but for those people that are having a hard time, you may wanna take a look at this literally make splitting cards almost self-working. So why would you even want to split cards other than to make that Siamese Waltz gimmick? You may want to make your own double facers, your own double backers. You may want to make thin cards. There are so many different gaffs that you can use these for. Personally, I like to use pieces or layers of card to hide elastics in the flap cards that I make I also make my own Hofzinser cards as well. Now, if you're not familiar with what a Hofzinser card is, here's one that I've made. It is a six of hearts, and you can see that it just is a regular card, but it does have a devious secret. When you want to do a card revelation, all you do is you shine a light through the back, and you can see here, that you can reveal the three of spades that is inside of it and ready to go at any time. This is what a Hofzinser card is, and I like the premise of it. Let's take a look at another application that I use all the time with the Hofzinser card. Uh, it looks like this. You basically just spread out the cards. You have your spectator touch a card, up jog that, and you show it to him and say, look, so you've selected here queen of diamonds, what we're gonna do is this. I'm just gonna tear off a corner, I let you hold on to that. They hold on to that, you say watch. Just crumble it. Did you see it pass through the deck, into the deck? You didn't see that, did you? I mean, take a look at this. You show them the top card, it just looks like a regular card, until you shine a light through it from behind, and then they can see the corner of their card that's ripped there. And the nice thing about that is that uh, you can actually get them to hold up their card and match the corner. You can actually hold it up against it and see how it matches perfectly. So this is a really nice application of this plot for those of you that are interested. And we're gonna start with the corner splitter jig. I'm gonna give you guys an idea of some of the difficulties I had with this because once you get past those difficulties, it literally becomes child's play. So this is gonna run you about 99 euros, which is about $110. It's a very small little piece, and this is designed to be adjusted. When you get this, you're gonna get some written instructions on how to adjust it, and there's actually two little screws here. You're gonna get a hex driver that you can use to adjust the fence, and what that does is that adjusts the amount of the corner of the card that sticks out there that you're going to actually loosen up. So you can see how much I have sticking out. Now when you first get it, it's totally open, so the whole corner is going to be exposed. And if you try to use it like that, which I tried in the beginning, it won't work. Because if you have too much of the corner exposed, you won't be able to separate the layer. And you'll be very frustrated and you'll probably want to just throw this in the garbage. If you have too little of the corner exposed, then you won't be able to get your finger in there to separate them. So this is the amount that I found was perfect. Now I know it doesn't look like a lot. It really looks like a tiny little bit. And in the instructions that you get, 
it's gonna tell you that you just need to experiment with it until you find the sweet spot. And that's pretty much the truth. Once you have that sweet spot, you put the card in there, you just move it back and forth to loosen up that corner with your finger. You're gonna feel it loosen up pretty easily. And once it's nice and loose like that, you just use the other side, which is the rubber side, and it's going to literally pull the one layer of the corner up. So you can see there, I don't know how well you can see that, but I've actually loosened that there. Now, all you have to do after that is just get your fingernail in there and then just open up that layer totally. Now here's something interesting about this is that Owen O'Hare does sell a snaker tool to help loosen up the fibers of the card. I would recommend that you don't even bother with that. And the main reason is because you don't need to loosen up the fibers of the card to separate the layer. Now I usually just separate that much of the corner and then I use the actual card splitter jig that we're gonna get into in a minute. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing with this card, but I'm just gonna do it on the back so you can see if you wanna separate a back. Again, it's the same way. You just stick it so that way you have the corner exposed. And you can see how much of that corner I've exposed. It's a very small amount that I use. And the reality is, is that's actually ideal because you don't need that much of it exposed. And you can see that, look at, I'm not really putting any kind of force to this. And then you just use the rubber side to open it up like that. And you can see, how long did that take? Like 10 seconds? And now I've got that corner there opened up. And again, just like before, I just stick my fingernail in there and just start to open it. I try to be careful so I don't mess up the corner because you want it to be, obviously you want it to be pristine. And then I just put it down on a hard surface just to open up the corner a little bit more. Um, and that's pretty much all you need to use it with the card splitter jig. Now let's get into that. The card splitter jig is 125 euros. It's two pieces like this. So if you buy both of these, you're looking at spending about 224 euros or about $250. So there is that initial investment, but it does make splitting cards literally child's play. Um, this one, all you have to do is attach the one piece to the other one with the four screws that come with it and you're ready to go. It comes with some holes here so you can actually adjust, the, you can actually attach this to a workbench, but I would recommend, don't even bother with that. You don't need to, it works perfectly fine just like this. Um, so when you get this, you'll be able to use it perfectly right out of the box. And the reason is because it's so easy to use, you just stick the card in it and you literally just carefully pull apart. Now, depending upon how old or how new the cards are, depends on how well they split. Cause I found that the newer the cards are, the easier they are to split. These cards that I'm showing you, these are actually old cards. So I'm actually surprised that they split as well. <laughs> but the reality is that they're gonna split fine anyway. So here's a back for you. If you want, you can also keep the other piece, which is gonna be the thick side, especially if you wanna use it for whatever gimmicks you wanna do. Here's, an, here's the other one that we did. Now look how simple this is to use. You literally just stick it in there and then just slowly just pull it apart. And the actual jig does all of the hard work for you. So that's it. Like how long did that take? Like a second, right? And you see how easy this is to use? That's it. Now you've got a couple nice pieces of card to use. If you want, you could put this in a card press to really flatten them out. All right, so you guys took a look at Owen O'Hare's card splitter jigs and I really can't recommend them enough to you, especially if you're having difficulty splitting cards. As you can see, it makes splitting cards literally child's play. The real benefits are that these tools are never gonna fail you. They're very easy to use, especially once you get over that one issue that I had with adjusting the fence on the corner splitter, then it works every single time perfectly. Um, and, um, just very reliable tools overall. The one negative aspect is probably the price to you, but when you think about how much time and money you're gonna save in the long run, I think it's definitely worth the investment. I wouldn't hesitate to rate these devices as five out of five, and I highly recommend them to you. I hope that this has piqued your interest, and hopefully you'll start making some gaps yourself at home. Thanks so much, guys, for tuning into my reviews. I look forward to your questions and comments, 
and I'll see you on the next review.